Hi. It's Thursday, uh, 5 o'clock. I basically just completed uh, my latest sculpture, which is uh, Christ washing St. Peter's feet. And the piece was, uh, was a very, very difficult piece to do because I'm incorporating two different figures and I'm working with the reaction with the two figures reacting towards uh, the event that's going on here. I'm very happy with the piece. I'm especially happy with the expressions, the gestures. From a distance, the piece, you can understand the whole story going on, but when you get closer up, you can see the details. Look at St. Peter's face. I love his face, and that face basically came out of my imagination, how to depict him. I didn't want to make him uh, uh, a quintessential beauty. I didn't want to borrow any classical ideas. I think I've seen similar faces in uh, some Renaissance paintings, how he's depicted with uh, the balding head, with the uh, round nose and a generally round face. Uh, I love the open parted mouth. I was playing around with his uh, facial features for several days before I got what I believe is the perfect expression on his face. His mouth is open. There's a sense of bewilderment. There's a little bit of reserve. Uh, and uh, obviously the focus of his eyes is going over to this area here. The hands are wonderful, wonderful expression. I think that, uh, that they express again the bewilderment. I have him older because most, uh, uh, most historical references will say he wasn't a 20 year old or anything like that. So there he is uh, getting his foot reluctantly or apprehensive, almost in shock washed by the Christ figure. The Christ figure on the other hand uh, is not uh, older, I have him younger with the long hair. I love the hair. There's no real direct way of making eye contact with Christ as you can with uh, St. Peter. Uh, you see a beautiful profile of him and the lines of the arm brings it down to the focal point which are the feet. The anatomy was very loosely done. The, the whole piece was very much impressionistically done. I wanted to get a specific uh, feel for the piece and I believe I really achieved that. This is actually uh, a bronze, uh, going to be uh, cast in bronze. It will actually be uh, a running fountain uh, if uh, desired with, with a water hook up here so there will be a continual flow of water uh, uh, going over the foot of St. Peter and into the hands. What I love about it is the natural rock that forms the composition here. Uh, I think it was interesting because as I was working on St. Peter on a huge mound of rocks, I began to understand the, the symbolic uh, uh, pertinence of having rocks. Uh, St. Peter was the, the rock of the church, so you can see that the composition is beautiful. It's a sweeping composition. I really do uh, think that was uh, a benefit, and I love the idea that it's, it kind of has this lyric uh, rhythm to it where it starts at the top and then goes down here and what accented that was the uh, was the drapery which you can see I kind of went all out in the drapery I didn't just want to have it simple now from the Gospels uh, before Christ watches Peter's feet he takes his tunic wraps it around his waist so there is a heavy heavy cloth uh, wrapped around his uh, his, his body there, and a very, I love the folds in it. It adds to the design, and same with St. Peter. You can see how I used the texture on the two different types uh, to get, get that contrast. It's obvious that he uh, uh, has a mantle there with very intricate folds. Um, what else can I say about the piece? I love the, uh, I love the face of Christ. Um, rather traditional. It's one of my more traditional pieces. I didn't want to take it to the point of every little wrinkle being totally accurate because then I think it would become lifeless. So there is a sense of spontane, uh, spontaneity to it. If I tighten up one area, then I'd have to tighten up everything else. And, and unfortunately, sometimes when you do that, the whole sculpture falls on the ground. So this, if you look closely, you'll see 
that it's not 100% anatomically correct, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for mannequins. I'm actually looking for a sculpture and a general feel and a mood and a, and a powerful punch that this piece would, would, uh, uh, would bring about. And I think it's really achieved that. It, it looks to me elements of of impressionism, elements of, of the masters, of, of the, the classical features. By no way are either of the figures idealized, obviously with St. Peter. I even have a wart that's almost very subtly on his nose there. To bring out more character, to bring out more humanity to the person. And the Christ figure there, though I have a very quintessential Christ face with the long hair, uh, it definitely doesn't look like something out of your Bible Sunday story uh, illuminated coloring book here. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the raw anatomy of it. Uh, when I do work with the anatomy, I'm exaggerating what I feel needs to be exaggerated. And I'm very happy with the work. I can't wait to see it in the bronze, which is its next step.